Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planner Zoo. My name is Nisa and today we are building for the saltwater crocodile. And uh, normally I have a lot of information about the animals I talk about and build for in these videos. Uh, today we have something else to talk about. So if you want to hear that or just see how I build this habitat, then please keep watching. Okay, everyone, and uh, before we get too much into the animal and build for you today, I have news. My Patreon is up and running. It is Nisa P. Link will be in the description. Uh, hopefully, I remember it. Uh, but I will just say that if you do not want to pay for my Patreon, there are still some things that you may want to go in there for. I'm working on putting up all my videos. Currently, I am at 30 because it takes some time to do um, but I have tagged them with tags all of the videos so if you for instance want a mod uh, but you don't know which you just want it to be a domestic animal or a cat I even uh, swap them up so we have big cats small cats if your animal is tagged with its common name or if it have two common names I normally you have tagged both of them uh, for instance the saltwater crocodile will both be tagged by saltwater crocodile and uh, Australian saltwater crocodile to make sure that everyone have it it will also be tagged with the Latin genus not the Latin name but the Latin genus so you know that if other animals have the same genus they are very close related and if you haven't decided which one exactly you want that may help you um, so I will try to do that and because I don't think it would be fair for me to take money of those videos because simply that the mods are not my work I just show them off so all of the, those videos are public you do not need to to subscribe you do, do not need to pay anything everyone can just go in and watch those videos for free the only thing that's different if you choose to become a page patreon and pay currently would be that you also can see my speed bills in there videos like this one uh, i do plan to have a few other things in there uh, but that's the only thing uh, that tier will uh, is sorry that tier is called baby sheep and it's only one dollar a month because i just think that anything more would be unfair basically um so that's that's that again you don't have to go and do so but if you want to support me with one dollar a month you can do that now uh, i do plan to maybe if i think of something cool to do with my patreon that i can offer specifically in there then i maybe will have like a bigger tier um but for now i really want to see if people even want to go in and see what i put in there um so yeah it's just it's there if you want to use it but especially for me as a mod user i always already used it a few times to search on different animals and i also tagged each mother in the mods they have built so you can also see oh i want a leaf mud or a gaboy mud or gin mud and then all of their mods should come up when i'm finally done with uploading all of them so i'm so hyped about it and i'm really looking forward to it and again a link will be in the description if it's something you want to be a part of and all mud videos should be free of charge and you don't need to subscribe to anything you can just do it um if you want to of course no pressure from me and it was actually the reason i wanted to build it was original that youtube is not good at searching things if you want like you know oh, you want a misubial but you don't know which misubial i have no way of um, do anything but make a playlist but that's a hell of a lot of playlist so i really hope this will help some people out it's already as i said helped me out and i hope it will help a lot of people out to be honest so yeah uh, on forehand i'm not sure what's it called in english but for everyone who wants to be a part of it, thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot and it means that you really appreciate this. And again, no pressure. I understand a million reasons for not wanting to go and pay for the 
videos i already put it out there for free i do understand it it's just the option if you want to if you want a lot of information about the Soulmore Crocodile, I clearly don't have a time for it today. I have both of these fellows before and in any of those videos there should be lots of information if you want to go and see them as well again because this saltwater habitat is very different than anyone I've built before so therefore I don't think that it would hurt anyone to watch two different saltwater crocodile habitats. But I want to address the fact that I have issues with this ground and as you can see the ground will not work around it and uh, I'm not sure when I did change my settings but I clearly did. So I go in here and uh, under games there's these four if you have that on then you can as you can see work with the ground much more easily. Some animations may do weird things. Um, if the animals can't actually get to the thing. Uh, for instance, if I cover it with a meter of dirt, then it will affect the animal's animations on top of it, certainly. Um, so there's some things around there, but besides that, it will help. And you can also uh, change the ground around a uh, path uh, and under path uh, if you want to, if you have those on, so it, that helps a lot. For enrichments, I'm well aware that the staff can only get to one side of the rubber bank here so therefore all food over there and then uh, as you could see other enrichments on the other side because i want the crocodilians here to go on that side as much as possible that's the place you can see them the most and it's also closest to the guest for um What's it called? Foliage. I do use these, which are beautiful. I think they are from the palm tree pack uh, mod. But besides that, I try to go very in and work with what I already have for the tiger habitat right behind it. So it feels like this is one scenery extending. There is though a few things, for instance, that the red plants or purple plants there that i really love i really wanted to use them down here but because i use them as highlights in the shadow behind that would kind of blur that out if i also use them up here where there's already very light and really clear to see where the ground is and where the stones is and such so to keep them as highlights back there i could not put them here in front i also work with a few trees here you can see i will try to see what fits but i don't want to cover my tiger habitats they are already quite difficult to spot for the guests i will also just shortly mention that we will this saturday be back in uh, future life canada and then next week we will build the last habitat in here i haven't decided which animal yet but it kind of needs to be something big. It would be weird to have like a, I don't know, a artwork or something like that in that big habitat all alone. Uh, so either something that have a big flock or something big so the guests can actually see it. Um, and that will probably be next Wednesday. Then we have the final zoo tour and I do plan to have it either the saturday or sunday after that i haven't decided yet but just know it is on its way and yes i have upgraded my internet so hopefully 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 um <laughs> we will not run into in any issues this time around um yeah i i cannot promise anything but i really hope so Anyway, we will of course not have the same time today for the information about this beautiful animal, but I will give it a shot here at the end. Uh, though, again, I'll link it below where I got my information from, so if you want to read about it, it is down there. The saltwater crocodile is the largest reptilian and crocodilian. Yeah, crocodilians are also reptilians, but the largest 
known in the world. Again, it is possible that there is some kind of reptilian living deep, deep underwater somewhere that we just didn't hear about or see ever. Uh, we also have forest areas around the world that we still haven't mapped up precisely. So it is possible that there's something big, but again, if it was that big, it should be easy to spot. This saltwater crocodile can weigh up to a thousand kilos, being 22,000 pounds. And uh, if you need something else to get a feel of it, it a thousand kilos is a bloody ton so it's fucking big it's two milk cow size uh, again not all of them become this big it's something that happens partially genetically like you can inherit genes with big size but also partially with time because they do keep uh, growing like most reptilian does so the older they are the bigger they get and before I forget, I do have a remaster on today, which I'm not sure if you noticed. It's easier to spot in the cinematics, of course. But we have the remaster called Soulwalk Crocodile Remaster and new variants. And I'm thinking I have at least one of these new variants in here today. So that's exciting. Uh, it's made by Gaboy, Mega Gaming Rex, Buffsu, and Norwhaler. And yes, video is already out. This time I have checked. And the video is also on my Patreon. The saltwater crocodile have about 64 to 68 teeth in their giant jaws. These teeth can actually fall out, for instance, if they're stuck on something or maybe it's just time for them to jump out. But where us humans only do this once in our lifetimes, these beautiful crocodilians continue doing that throughout their lives. And therefore, the saltwater crocodile can through their lifespan of, I guess, roughly uh, 40 to 70 years, uh, produce and use and discard around 8,000 teeth. Yeah, I know it's not the kind of fact I normally mention here, but I think it was worth saying. Anyway, you guys, for now, enjoy the cinematics. I really hope you will. And as always, I will come back afterwards. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really did, especially with this tiger, so water crocodile hybrid thing going on here. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and of course, hope you did too. As always, guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. Keep that in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.